to me, organic is more salts, where you have a combination of elements coming together as opposed to, uh, and this is a combination of elements coming together, but to me, lacking, uh, very inorganic. I don't use it at all. I think it has, it touts to be very absorbable, but again, minerals aren't really, too many minerals, too earthy, uh, can have a lot of problems. So that's why your fruits and your berries and melons don't have the heavy minerals like the, like the, like the foods growing in the ground. But that'll tie you to the ground. And really, we're, it, it's just, we're a higher evolved species. We don't live, I mean, if we were to live in the wild, it wouldn't be on the ground. We have very little protection against the elements. So we would be tree dwellers. Same problem. See? So we have to start thinking about that in our diet as well. Our potassium rich fruit says, oh, I see that same one, one love, one hoax. Thank you. Same again. Yep. Dear Chris, I thank you for this. Can you list these recommended products at the cost? Uh, this is for Chris. Oh, this is one comment. Hey, Scorpio, Scorpio Plus. Uh, we're trying to figure out, Dan the man told us not to label them this way because when people Google our site or Google something, they, they, they can't Google question and answer. So he said if we turned this around. So this was Dan the man that told us to do it this way. So Chris is going to coming up with a, a different way. If you guys want to help him that way, uh, we want to grow. We want people to grow. We want people to get out there and be able to get a hold of us so we can help them. And uh, the only way I know is to fix it so, and I, I'm not really cool on the, um, where'd this come from? Yeah, this is Brian Adams. Hey, Brian, thanks, buddy. I'm sure, I don't know if you, you don't probably don't follow our YouTube, man, but, uh, oh, Brian Adams is trying to get me and Deepak together. I don't know, Deepak, um, I think a lot of that guy. Still medical doctor, but I think a lot of him. But Indian people have a lot of spirituality as a rule, so I really like that. They look at life through consciousness and uh, intelligence as opposed to physical forms. In other words, if you're talking about an omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent being, there's no way that being has any form to it. You can't be in all places in all times and be all powerful and have a form to yourself. You're seeing the form, pieces of them all around. This is all the illusion. This is all the dream of the supreme being. And we're, you know, the dream is it in action. And then when you come to realize that, you'll start appreciating yourself more, guys. Uh, this is a bow. Uh, S-N-H-A-S. Bows and Haas. Hi, Dr. Morris. I appreciate what you're doing for the... Thank you, my friend. Uh, thanks. Appreciate that. Uh, we're all angels here, guys, and it's time we uh, hold hands and walk together as one. Thank you. I have a question. What is the best treatment? <laughs> I know, so how you put it? Uh, for large uterine fibroids. Good question. Well, same type of thing. You and I probably would try to douche and get my hips up in a tub and try to get that heel all T up in the uterus if you can. But the big deal is systemic, and that is the kidneys and the adrenal glands and getting that lymph moving. Uh, you could probably use some castor oil packs to help with that and loosen maybe loosen some of it up a little bit. But this is what happens acids make things hard as rocks. Uh, you're probably not going to like what I have to say. If it's too big and you're having too many problems, then you might have to go under the knife and have it removed. If you have the tenacity, the strength to hang in there, then you've got to do some fruit fasting. You really, this is, this is a job. It takes a while. We've had big ones out. I'd say the biggest one we've gotten out of a, of a lady was probably um, grapefruit size. But you get any bigger... You know, you got you got a lot of work ahead of you. So it depends how big you're you're dealing with and all that. But again, you could do the heal all tea. I would I would probably douche anyway with it for two three weeks easy, at least once a night. Uh, at the same time, I'm going to pound the GI tract, the kidneys, the adrenals, and really get my lymph system moving. This is all about your lymph system again, and really hit that hard, dear. 
Thanks for the question. A lot of women fighting that, but it's just that lymph just rips people apart like that. This is one on low blood pressure. Be here now. I love that. Be here now. I used to walk around and just say that to myself all the time. Be here now. Be here now. Be here now. We have to gain our, our uh, spirituality back. That mind has taken us so far down the tubes of creation. We have to get ourselves back. You have to sometimes use that, you know, re-brainwash yourself, kind of. <laughs> uh, uh, so, low blood pressure, dear doc. Something concerning me a lot is my low blood pressure, as it should, below 90. Eesh. Yeah, 90 over 60. The 60 is good. That's your kidneys. But the 90 is your adrenal glands. And yeah, I would be concerned. I take the new brain and nerve formula. That will at least strengthen up the nervous system. At the same time, if it was me, I'd probably do adrenal 160. It's a glandular, uh, but uh, you'd probably want to do two or three, three times a day. And it's still going to take you a little while to get that up there. At the same time, work on your kidneys and your lymphatics because the kidneys, you know, it's funny. The adrenals shut down the kidneys. The kidneys back up the lymph. The lymph backs up the adrenals more than the adrenals. You know, it's just a never-ending story. So you want to really get on the kidneys and lymphatics simultaneously you're working on your adrenal glands believe it or not and also work up the gut and clean all that out too I usually feel exhausted well you would you know that should that your adrenals are, are like a, a battery charger they're recharging. If you consider the human body an alkaline rechargeable ba uh, batteries, uh, the nervous system and the adrenals, the recharging unit, you'll see that the neurological conditions like MS in particular, but Lou Gehrig's and Parkinson's, they don't hold charges long. And anything that takes out their charge makes them weaker, like hot heat, acids, they're really highly acidic. So when you add more acids to the mix, then they have more problems. They lose their ears, they lose their breathing. And this is, shows you the neurological connection to acidosis. And at this, the adrenals are the recharging units there. And so you've got to get the adrenals up. That's why you're exhausted. The more the adrenals are charging the uh, autonomic, the longer you can go. And there's a time where the adrenals just are continuous charging. You just don't get tired. You, don't, you, don't, you can go run for five miles and stop because you're bored. I miss that. I had that at one time as a fruititarian. As I slipped down off of that, I don't have the same levels like that. I have boundless in, 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 endless energy, but more than my body can tolerate. That's what happened to me. I had to step back. I, I was pu pumping too much energy into a body that couldn't handle it. And you're, some of you, we've already talked with some of you about that, and the man as well. You know, you get too high of energy. You, you, some people don't understand that. You've got to back down got to back down or you'll get out of balance and you don't want to get out of balance because then if you're not aware that you're getting out of balance uh, you're going to lose some friends and not influence a lot of them so you really walking in balance keeps keeps your life in harmony with everything around you uh, I do push you out of balance though to get you to detoxify deeper but just keep these little things in mind when you're hearing these things and you'll see what I mean when you get there uh, recently, I've noticed increased tension in my left breast or chest area. Well, again, you really hit hard on those kidneys and adrenals and get to all this, get these axillary lymph nodes draining through these kidneys. Get everybody draining there, and that'll pull that out of there. I follow the 80-10-10 diet by Dr. Graham, which means I don't eat any additional salt. Well, that's okay. We don't need salt. I drink about four liters of water a day and disagree with that. It's too much water. And again, you're not going to rehydrate with water like you think you are. That doesn't move lymph. It doesn't. It only serves to bloat you, and uh, not 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 in the thing. And if you get too much, you could give yourself congestive heart failure or pulmonary edema. And in the class, I told you about a case that the medical doctor killed this lady we were working on with Lou Gehrig's because he thought she suffered too much, and it was all about over uh, giving her too much water and drowning her. Just what he did to her. We all watched it. And I uh, learned a big lesson then. Uh, you really, uh, really don't want to do too much water. I don't care what Doc says there. But still feel constipated. Huh. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. You really want to get your bowels moving. You really, sounds like you're really backed up in the bowels, really weak in the adrenals. So remember, uh, peristalsis is a neurological event, and the adrenals control that neurological event. And so you really, your adrenals are really low. Therefore, your nervous system is response is low, and that's neurotransmitters. Exactly why you see the low blood pressures, why you have low peristalsis. 
and the breathing can get in, involved, and the heart uh, rhythms can get involved, etc., etc., etc. My digestion has been bad for several years now. We'll slip to the fruits, berries, and melons, get out of his program, cap it a little, go into the fruits, berries, and melons predominantly, maybe one salad at night, and detox yourself better on the herbs, get into the gut, get your adrenals. This is a case where you would use an adrenal cytotrophin or adrenal glandular. You're not going to get them up fast by using even uh, licorice and stuff. So you could use both the adrenal formula and, say, adrenal 160s or something and really move up on those adrenals. Wake them up. If it doesn't wake them up, pituitary might be, the, might be suppressing them too. So think about, don't forget about the pituitary that controls all the glands. Uh, one, one case I was looking at this morning, writing her upper protocol, she's on two thyroid medication. She's on Armour, which is natural T3, and her T3 is too high. He also has her on a synthetic T4 and p trying to pump her thyroid. And if you look at her blood work, the thing that's off is TSH. She's low TSH. Well, that's thyroid stimulating hormone. You can't make the thyroid make more TSH because the thyroid doesn't make TSH at all. It's the pituitary that makes TSH, and this is why this medical doctor is not able to help her. He's hitting the wrong glands. He needs to hit the pituitary. But then, the way he does it, he doesn't understand glandular. So, this lady needs to be pituitary. So, I had to change her, you know, work her up a protocol and show her what she's doing wrong. And her medical doctor just doesn't understand. They equate TSH with, always with the thyroid. It's thyroid stimulating hormone, but produced by the pituitary. Problems in her pituitary. When you're hitting your glands and they're not turning on, you go to the, the higher, you go to the CEO, you go to the boss. You're calling in and no one's giving you remedy, you ask for who's, your, who's the supervisor. The supervisor is a jerk, you ask for his boss. Keep working up the line. You guys do it on me. I was diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome with diverticuli. I'm telling you, you just load it up. You just you are backed up bad lymphatically. You know when your adrenals are that low, you can also understand that your lymph system is greatly backed up because your kidneys aren't filtering. You you can count on it. And this is just the areas that it's showing you in your face the same thing. Your gut's all backed up lymphatically, interstitial lymphatic constipation. It's exactly what you're dealing with here, dear one. Uh, I must add that I am always very bloated, no kidding, and very gassy. Probably a lot of sulfur in you as well, dear. So you really get, we we're just talking about this other lady with sulfur and what she did. Some of you should read some of these questions. They're really good for you. Uh, so really hit that. I would do, you know, get your stomach and bowel number, whatever will move you, probably at least a number three probably. Tear it up with the GI broom. I do the lymphatic one capsules, hit it, tear it up with those, and really hit the adrenals hard, the kidneys, and really start moving that length and pull all that out. Your bowel pockets might be a parathyroid here too. If you're that low on the adrenals and the pituitary is involved, it could also be slamming thyroid and parathyroid. I'd be considering that. Are you cold? How's your fingernails? How are your var varicose veins, spider veins, hemorrhoids, depression? All parathyroid, thyroid. And I must add that I'm always very bloated. Yep, what apart from exercising. I wouldn't exercise right now. I'd settle down and start thinking about how do I move lymph chemically and magnetically, not, with, not through activity, because you're trying to make something happen that won't happen, and you're going to get worse by doing it. You can't exercise your kidneys and adrenals well. Impossible. And that's where a man has to stop and think. You can't make everything happen through exercise. You cannot do it. And I've been over with physical therapists, and, and, and finally some people are getting it out there. Rest for a while while you work on this like all the other animals. Get your kidneys and adrenals up and filtering and then you go out and pound the pavement. But wait until you get it filtering or you're not going to, you're doing yourself an injustice here. Look at what the animals do in nature. They rest when they're sick.